Have you ever thought about why we're all fascinated by the unknown? Why does the unpredictable catch our attention? It is human nature to be drawn to the unknown and unpredictable. This psychology can be applied in love and relationship. I will tell you six dark psychologies to make anyone think about you non-stop. But don't use it on someone you love. It is for educational purposes only. Rule number one, don't always be predictable. Predictability is the place where interest goes to die. By nature, human are curious beings. We're drawn to mysteries and to things we can't quite figure out. When you're predictable, you're easy to figure out. It's like a movie you've seen a hundred times. You know every line, every scene. No surprises. That gets boring fast. People lose interest in things they can predict, especially in relationships. It's the excitement of the unknown that keeps things alive. By being unpredictable, you're essentially tapping into the basics of manipulation. You're playing with the principles of reward and uncertainty. It's like a slot machine. The unpredictability of the reward keeps people pulling the lever. In this case, you're the slot machine. Sometimes you give her attention, affection, and then unpredictably. This inconsistency triggers something deep in the brain. It creates a kind of addiction. She starts craving your attention because she can't predict when she'll get it. This isn't just about being a mystery. It's about creating an emotional roller coaster. The highs are higher when she doesn't see them coming. The lows when you're distant make her strive for your attention. It's a form of psychological control, a way to keep her thinking about you wanting more because she can't figure out your pattern. Rule number two, make them emotionally dependent on you. This is where you get into their head. It's not just about being there for her. It's about becoming the person she can't live without. You're going to be the one who understands her better than anyone else and tapping into her deepest emotions and fears. Listen to her, learn what makes her tick, and then use that knowledge to become her emotional anchor. But here's the trick. Do it selectively, be there for her sometimes, and other times pull back. This inconsistency creates a sense of urgency and need that make her crave your presence and support at the same time. Keep your own identity strong. Don't get lost in the role of being her support system. Pursue your own dreams and goals. This balance of being emotionally supportive while maintaining your independence creates a magnetic, irresistible pull. You're providing her with emotional support, but on your terms, making her increasingly reliant on the unique connection you offer. Rule number three, disappear suddenly. This one is about the element of surprise and the power of absence. When you suddenly become less available or go off the radar, it creates a sense of mystery and urgency. People want what they can't have, and by disappearing, you become the thing she can't have for a while. When you are consistent and predictable, you create a pattern, but you must break it. You go silent. No calls, no texts, no explanations. This triggers a psychological response called loss aversion. It's a principle that suggests people are more motivated by the fear of losing something than by the prospect of gaining something of equal value. In your absence, she starts to feel a potential loss, which ironically makes your value in her life skyrocket. But this tactic needs to be timed perfectly. It's not about ghosting or causing anxiety. It's about strategically creating a void, then reappearing just when she starts to really feel your absence. When you come back, you'll find that her interest and appreciation for you have grown. This isn't just a game. It's understanding human nature and the psychology of desire. People cherish what they have to miss once in a while, and that's exactly the role you'll play. Rule number four, don't show too much excitement when you meet with them. This rule is all about controlling the emotional climate of your interactions. In the game of psychological, showing too much excitement can be a sign of weakness. It's like giving away your power, showing that you're too invested, too interested. Instead, you want to keep a level of composure and mystery about your feelings. Here's the strategy. When you meet up, 
Keep your emotions in check. Show interest, of course, but in a controlled, measured way. It's about striking a balance. You're happy to see her, but you're not over the moon. This approach plays into the psychological concept of playing hard to get. It's a classic for a reason. When you're not overly enthusiastic, it creates a challenge for her. She starts wondering why you're not as excited as she expected, which can actually make her more attracted to you. It's a form of reverse psychology. The less you show, the more she wants to see. But remember, this isn't about being cold or distant. It's about creating an allure, an intrigue around your feelings. It keeps her guessing and makes every bit of affection or excitement from you feel like a hard-earned reward. This careful balance keeps her on her toes and increases your psychological hold over her. You're not just another open book, you're a chapter she's constantly trying to read. Rule number five, avoid getting jealous of other men around them. Jealousy, while a common emotion, is often seen as a sign of weakness and insecurity. When you show jealousy, you're telling her that you feel threatened, that you're not confident in your position. That's not the image you want to project. Instead, you want to embody confidence and security, two traits that are highly attractive. The strategy here is to remain unfazed when other men are around. If she's talking to another guy, keep cool. Show that you're secure in yourself and in whatever you have with her. This nonchalant attitude can actually work in your favor. It plays into the psychological principle of reactance. When people feel their freedom to choose is being restricted, they want it more. By not showing jealousy, you're not restricting her, you're giving her the freedom to choose. Paradoxically, this often leads her to choose you, as you've positioned yourself as the more confident, unbothered option. However, this doesn't mean you become passive or indifferent. It's about showing her that your value and self-worth don't depend on her actions. You're in control of your emotions, not the other way around. By mastering this, you increase your psychological appeal. You're not just another guy reacting predictably out of jealousy. You're the guy who stands out because you're secure in yourself and unshaken by potential competition. Rule number six. Prioritize your goals and ambitions above fleeting pleasures. This is about showing where your priorities lie. And believe me, it's a powerful psychological play. When you focus on your goals and ambitions, you're sending a clear message. You're driven, you have purpose, and you're not easily swayed by short-term gratifications. This attitude is incredibly attractive and positions you as someone of high value and substance. Here's how you put this into action. Let her see that your goals come first. It's not about neglecting her or the relationship, but about showing that you're not dependent on her for your happiness or sense of fulfillment. You're your own person with your own path. This creates a dynamic where she sees you as someone who's striving for something greater, someone who's not just living for the moment, but building a future. It's a trait that's psychologically appealing. We're naturally drawn to individuals who show ambition and determination. Moreover, this approach taps into the concept of scarcity. When you're less available because you're pursuing your ambitions, your time becomes more valuable. She'll start to see your time and attention as precious commodities. This isn't about playing games. It's about genuinely being invested in your own growth and success. By doing this, you're not just another option in her life. You're the prize. You become someone she wants to be associated with, someone she respects and admires. If you found these strategies intriguing, hit the like button. Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the human mind and relationships. Use this knowledge carefully and remember, it's not just about getting someone to think about you non-stop. It's about building something meaningful.